Okay, on the last video, we talked about continuous monitoring for a policy such as AT1 or AC1, and that's just making sure that the policy hasn't changed. And if it has changed, we go in there, we update it, or we revise it, or have someone upper level look over it and say, okay, yep, this is still good to go, no changes, and then they sign off on it and you're good. And they typically do that annually. The organization decides that. Then we talked about process. We talked about, okay, who determines when the security uh, training happens. You know, normally that's going to happen above our pay grade. We might have some input into it as cybersecurity experts, but typically it's going to be a, a boss's boss is going to say, everyone will do this because they got to get on the lower level managers and the lower level managers dictate that to all the people underneath them and they have an idea of how much work and effort that their people are doing so they know that, okay, look, monthly is a little too much. Let's do this semi-annually, right? So, okay, now let me show you something a little bit more technical. So normally when you're thinking continuous monitoring, you're probably thinking about scans, and that is important. So let me show you what that is. What, what were we talking about with scans? That is typically going to be with a, R, a, the RA controls. That's dealing with risk assessments. We already talked about policy. Security categorization is going to be more of a process that's happened at a higher level. S risk assessments is more all-encompassing, and we will talk about that one. Vul let's talk about vulnerability scanning because that one's very straightforward, and this is the one that usually is um, – is thought about when you think of continuous monitoring. Normally people think of, oh, well, okay, how often will we do scanning? That's not all continuous monitoring is, by the way, but yeah, this is a big part of it. So let's talk about scanning. So right here in this particular document, it says it has this, in this column L here, it has a recommended continuous monitoring frequency, but the organization is the one who decides when this is done. And, the, and you could see why that's important that the organization decides that because the reason why is because they're the ones who know how much they work and how much their people are going to be able to do this work. Okay, we're on vulnerability management scanning. And let's say that the organization says, hey, we will conduct scanning monthly. And usually they'll do it monthly or every couple months or something like that because it can be done automatically it can be done to run every weekend when not many people on the servers or on the computers so you can just kind of set it and for, and have it run every tuesday at 3 a.m or something like that so this is something that could be done in the background monthly or actually daily some some organizations actually do this daily daily or weekly yeah and let's see what they recommend here on this particular government document here. They're saying quarterly, but I could tell you that normally in places like the Department of Defense and some of the three level letter agencies, it's so aggressive that they really have to scan on a continuous weekly and sometimes even daily basis to see what vulnerabilities are out there because it's just constantly, constantly changing. So, yeah, that's done weekly. Now, let me show you a little something else here. When we fill this part out, and again, this form is not typical. You're going to go, you're going to go to another organization. It's going to look nothing like what I'm showing you here, but this is just an example of how an organization might break out these controls. I mean, continuous monitoring. Now, when we filled out that first part, it populates this other part of the of the spreadsheet. So we filled out AT2. We filled out, so yeah, this is just, and again, this is just one way to do it. Many organizations, I've seen organizations do it manually with a spreadsheet like this. I've seen them do it with a Word document. Um, usually these days they're doing it with a, a GRC tool, which is a governance risk and compliance tool such as ServiceNow or Archer or some tool like that that's like a giant database where they collect all this information and they can see what was what was monitored and what was not and when. And so that's usually the kind of tool these days that you'll see. 
the thing from from our perspective as security uh, risk and security people, we just need to see that there is a policy for it. If there's not a policy, we need to re- wave, the, wave the red flag and say, hey, listen, guys, there's no there's no policy for us doing continuous monitoring. We might want to have that. You're not going to come in there and pound the table and say, hey, you guys have to have this or that. You know, no, that's not how you're going to do approach it. <laughs> you're going to you're going to come in there and just say, hey, listen, um, here's the regulation on continuous monitoring. FISMA states it. Here's where it says it right here in the law. Um, we should definitely have continuous monitoring. This is something that's going to be a part of an, a future audit. They will check this. We need to have it done. You tell them that it needs to be done in a very respectful way. You explain it in writing. You explain where the laws are. You point the laws out to them if they want to read it themselves. And you send it up the chain of command, meaning don't send it directly to CEO of the company or the organization or the general or whatever. Send it to your boss and say, hey, hey, uh, listen, I noticed uh, that we don't – this organization doesn't have a risk uh, – a continuous monitoring policy. Uh, is it – or am I missing something? And then your boss will come back to you and say, oh, no, no, they have one. It's Here it is, and they'll send it to you. Or, hmm, I think you're right. Bruce, like, uh, yeah, this is something that, or typically they'll say if they already know that they don't have one, they say, yeah, they don't have one. This is something that's been brought up before. You know, um, let's go ahead and send the send the CIO a note or his office saying that, hey, we need this continuous monitoring. And do do you propose anything? And always have like in the back of your mind, what are we going to do if we don't have one? You know, can, can I can help write it or I can help them to develop it further or here's here's a solution to our problem. You know, always have a solution before you present a problem. That's something that I've that I've done It's like, hey, we have this problem, but here's a possible solution. We could probably use this form right here to determine the frequency or break down the policy of what we could possibly do. All right. See you guys on the next one.